As a paediatrician, I'm really interested in the opportunities of research for children for their benefit, but I also see the challenges of those. And what's important, I think, when we approach families and children to take part in studies is to see a balance between the burden of their disease and the ask of the protocol. And these really need to be matched up so that if the burden of disease is relatively light, they're able to carry on daily activities, then the ask of the protocol is also not too severe, not too many blood tests, not too many visits. And if there's a mismatch between these two, in other words, if the burden of the uh, disease is light and the ask of research is very heavy, then there's going to be a problem recruiting into that study. Getting the balance right between the ask of the research protocol and the burden of the disease for the child and family is important across all research but really important for life sciences because often those studies are more rigorous and that's why I think it's so important to bring patients and life sciences together. It's something I've had experience of as a paediatrician but I think that experience and the lessons are applicable across all ages and specialties. So I'm really pleased to support the NIHR Patient Engagement Service, which is doing exactly that. It's offering an early opportunity for life sciences to engage with patients who want to help them develop their protocols or develop their information with the ultimate aim of making that research more uh, efficient, more effective and delivering quickly. It's difficult to bring patients and life sciences together. We recognise that there are tensions that exist both for patients and the public in relation to life sciences, but also the life sciences, their code of practice and some of their regulations, which are wholly appropriate, but can seem like impediments to the way uh, that they might engage directly with patients. So NIHR as a publicly funded body supporting patients through the NHS and care is there to help broker this relationship in a transparent and appropriate way so that patients and life sciences can work together to really improve the quality of their work. I would say that this is a difficult process. It hasn't already happened, it's not easy. Otherwise, what are we trying to offer here? So we need to take it a little bit slowly and learn as we go along. But that's not to say that this is going to be a long and drawn out process, not at all. The point of doing this is to improve the quality and the efficiency of research across the development programme because I'm interested in getting those medicines for our patients as quickly as possible. So what I would try and say is put some extra time in up front in order to get the process right but expect to pay dividends overall in the study development programme and as we learn as we go along both life sciences and NIHR are offering this, then let's really see the time benefits in the future.